before we post our van electrical video, we wanted to go over some of the smaller um, skills you're going to need to complete this job. One of them is going to be crimping small terminals, so wires less than 10 gauge. You're going to need a decent set of wire cutters. This set has corresponding notches that go along with the wire gauge, so you don't so you strip dust the insulation and don't end up cutting the conductor. The next thing you're going to need is a decent set of crimpers. I really like the ratcheting crimpers because it guarantees that you get a complete crimp because it won't actually let you release until it's fully depressed. You can pick these up for less than 30 bucks. So. If you're going to do a whole bunch of wiring, it's definitely worth, worth getting. Lastly, you're going to need some connectors. We have a few butt connectors here for joining two ends of wires together. And then we have a ring connector for going over a screw. And then a spade connector for going onto a spade terminal. So first things you're going to do is clean up the end of your wire. Like if it's like this one, ours has all sorts of stuff going on there. So use the cutting portion of your wire um, strippers, so this portion down here, cut it off so the end is nice and clean. Now these are eight, this is an 18 gauge wire, so we're gonna wanna go to the 18 gauge notch under stranded. There's another side for solid, but we wanna make sure you wanna use the stranded side if you're using stranded wire. So then we'll cut off about a quarter inch and give it a little twist to keep the, the strands from separating. We'll then take our connector and test fit it on the end. And I've cut this to the perfect length. And you can see how there's a little bit of the wire sticking out of the end. That's perfect. You don't want too much and you definitely don't want it to be sucked in a little bit and not sticking out. You want just a little bit of stick out, about a sixteenth of an inch, just like we have there. Next, you want to grab your, your pair of crimpers. And these crimpers are all color coded, so you're going to use, if you have a yellow terminal, you're going to use it on the yellow one. Blue terminal, you're going to use it on the blue one, obviously. A red is going to go in the red. So you can look inside the crimper, you can see two notches. They're both, the, they have the same profile. So one is going to crimp the connect, the metal terminal underneath the insulation and the other one is going to crimp the insulation onto the wire. So one's going to provide the actual electrical crimp and then the other one is going to provide the strain relief. So we're going to take your connector in one hand and your crimper in the other hand. Place the connector in the appropriate groove and just apply one click. Just enough to hold it, the connector in place. Just to keep it from falling out of the tool. You would next take your wire and insert it. You can see how it's sticking through, just like we're supposed to. And then squeeze your crimper all the way to the end until it releases. Now you can see where the, you've made a crimp on the end here for the electrical portion of the crimp. And on the end over here, it's crimped down the plastic insulation onto the wire. So that provides strain relief. So that when you, if the wire gets tugged on, it's not actually pulling on the terminal, but on the plastic. Crimping a butt connector is pretty much the same thing, but it's a little bit more tricky because you can't see when your wire is far enough. And if you crimp too far, if you cut off too much wire, it'll stick all the way through and you won't have anything for the corresponding wire to come in from the other side. So again, you're gonna cut off clean section. This is 18 gauge, so we'll cut off about a quarter of an inch. Give it a twist, keep it from fraying, and then double check it. That's pretty good. Now if I hold the wire next to the butt connector, you can see how it goes halfway through. And that is just about perfect. We'll cut the other end. Get a clean end. Cut it off. Twist to keep them from fraying. But you see on this one, I've cut it a little bit long. 
that's always okay because you can always come back take a little bit off the end stick it inside your crimpers so it's flush with the end just like we did last time and just do one click just enough to hold it in place you want to insert your wire and while holding the wire complete your crimp so take your half completed crimp stick it into your crimper again just do one click to hold it and all I like to do is come back here and line it up with the old crimp so they're both parallel then take your wire insert it inside the crimp make sure it's all the way in and crimp so there is your completed butt connector you can see it's pretty strong I'm pulling pretty hard on this and these terminals using these small terminals like this and this butt connector are pretty nice they're just as strong as soldering they're way easier and much faster. In the description below, I'm gonna put a link for a decent set of wire crimpers and cutters. The crimpers are less than 30 bucks and the, and the cutters are less than 10. So it's worth getting a good set if you're gonna do a whole bunch of crimping. Those small cheap ones you get at the auto parts store, they hurt your hand after a while, so. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos you wanna see, leave a comment below. Otherwise, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button.